Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dean Amadikian, Math 131, Elements of College Mathematics, Section 2.2, Problem 14. This is Section 2.2, Problem 14. It says perform the indicated row operation for the matrix. So we have a matrix, uh, three rows, top row is 1, 2, 6, 3, the middle is 2, 3, 4, 2, and the bottom row is 3, 2, 3, negative 6. And our row operation is make a new row 2 that's equal to negative 2 row 1 plus the old row 2. So make a new row 2. What I'm going to do is kind of draw a super big matrix off to the side here and, and then clean it up underneath. So we're making a new row 2. Row, row 1 can go into the new matrix. And again, I'm going to make kind of an overly big new matrix. So 1, 2, 6, 3, and I'm leaving some space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some boxes to do the work that it's telling me to do, these big boxes. And then the bottom row will be 3, 2, 3, minus 6. So what work do we have to do? We have to do the row operation. It's saying make a new row that is negative 2 times row 1 plus row 2. So negative 2 times what's in row 1 in this first position is negative 2 times 1 plus what's in row 2. So what's right underneath that in the x position is 2. So negative 2 times what's in row 1 is negative 2 times 1. So it's going to be minus 2 and then plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 gives me a result of 0. So that first box, the overall result is 0. So now in the next box, we're going to do that same process, but with the values in the y position. So again, start with the equation, which they tell you is going to be negative 2 row 1 plus row 2. So negative 2 times what's in row 1 in the y position is 2, plus what's in row 2. So in row 2, we have a 3. So negative 2 times for 1 is negative 2 times positive 2, which gives me a minus 4, and I'm going to add 3. Minus 4 positive 3 is negative 1. So the final result for that box is negative 1. The next box that's in the z position, so same process, but with the values 6 and 4. So the equation that you have to do is negative 2 row 1 plus row 2. So negative 2 times what's in row 1 in this column is negative 2 times 6. And I'm going to add that to row 2, so I'm going to add it to 4. So negative 2 row 1 is negative 2 times positive 6, which is negative 12. And I'm going to add negative 12 positive 4. Negative 12 positive 4 is negative 8. Again, pay attention to the negatives, don't lose a negative. And one final box to fill in. Again, my equation is negative 2 row 1 plus row 2, so I start with that fill in the values. Negative 2 times row 1 in this last column will be negative 2 times 3. Plus what's in row 2. So in that last column in row 2, I have a positive 2. So negative 2 times row 1, negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6. I'm going to add negative 6, positive 2. Negative 6 and positive 2 is negative 4. Again, don't lose a negative. So now my final answer for this matrix, you don't want to leave your answer with those big boxes. I'll put it right underneath the original question. The top row again did not change. 1, 2, 6, 3. 1, 2, 6, 3. Now the middle row, after we do our work, we get a result of 0 in the x column, negative 1 in the y column, negative 8 in the z column, and negative 4 in the very last column. And then the bottom row, row 3 didn't change either. 3, 2, 3, minus 6 just gets to stay the way it was in the original question. 3, 2, 3, negative 6. And that's the answer.